Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm having a look at the new Winmore Simon Whitlock World Cup Special Edition Darts. Very nice looking dart. Um, when these came out the other day I, I must have looked around about three or four shops and they'd sold out in no time at all but I finally managed to buy a set. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm also going to be giving these away so stay tuned later in the video and I'll explain about that. But for now, let's check them out. So I'm reviewing the 22 gram version, the 90% tungsten. You can also get them in 23 and 24 gram in steel tip and 18 gram in soft tip and the retail for £49.95. So the darts come in this cardboard packaging and I think this is the packaging that's been used on the other models. So a little bit of a shame they didn't do a special uh, World Cup SE edition box, but never mind. Inside there's a form inlay holding everything in place and the darts are fitted into the neat little round alloy and plastic Winmore point holder and come supplied with a set of the short vector stems in my favorite color green so they're very nice and also these rather nice looking uh, wizard world cup se prism delta flights kind of got a nice holographic rainbow effect on them That's fitted with a black coated point and it's nice to see that he's changed from that slightly strange tapered style that I was never keen on and he's kind of gone back to his old style. It's more of a straight barrel style now. Got a tapered nose, a wide chunky ring grip and then the trademark scallop and on the rear it's a mix of mini shark grip but I think that section there is parallel and just that section is tapered but i won't know for sure until i get my calipers but he likes to grip on that section with the scallop and it makes a nice reference point for people who like to do that just locate your grip nice and easy and also gives you something to grab on to um, but as you can see it's got the rainbow pvd coating on a very nice looking dart actually and what I'll do is I'll get a comparison pick of these previous models and that might be interesting to compare pair them together. And they're fitted with the short vector stems in nice green colour and these rather nicely made Wizard Special Edition Well Cup flights. You've got a smooth tapered front section and then you've got this wide ring grip with wide grooves in between that are fairly deep. And obviously, as you can see, it's got the rainbow PVD coating. And what I think is pretty much exactly in the middle, you've got this small scallop section. And as you go along, I think it slightly tapers there, but I'm not 100% sure how I'll measure it. But definitely tapers right on the, the end there though. But that section is a mini shark style grip with some flat smooth sections in between. And then on the very end, it's a tapered mini shark grip with just a small smooth part at the very end of the barrel. So there's the super close look at the Winmore Simon Whitlock World Cup SE darts. That's fit with a black coat at 27mm point. There's a smooth tapered nose, that's 7mm. And at the front, you've got this wide kind of flat ring grip with deep wide grooves in between the rings that's 15.5 millimeters and then you've got the scallop section and that's six millimeters and then you've got this mini shark style ring grip with flat smooth rings in between that's 10.5 millimeters on the rear it's a full mini shark grip with a small smooth section on the end that's 9.5 millimeters length is 48.5 millimeters widest is 6.8 millimeters so here's just a quick comparison pick of a couple of these previous models that I've done reviews on so you can pause it and have a look at your leisure if you want. Twenty one point nine six grams. Twenty two grams exactly. And twenty two grams exactly. Full setup. 23.63 grams 
Here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup. And this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. Decent level of grip on the barrel overall. For me the front was just a little bit grippier so I'll give that a 7. <laughs> is it in? It bloody well is. <laughs> I thought there's no way I can throw that because that one's gonna fall out and it didn't. It's a 180. That's bloody bonza Darren. Damn it, how do I zoom in? Anyway, it is. <laughs> I'll pull that out. Oh, it did, did nearly fall out of that. I was just about to say that grip there, I'm holding it above that ring and I'm getting a nice bit of grip from that groove part and it just feels just right. But now, watch, I'll hit, I'll probably hit number nine or something. Told you, <laughs> number 12. <laughs> it's put me right off now. Oh, typical that. I forgot what I was going to say, it always happens that when I get a 180 on video, I completely for, go, get all flustered and then I just forget. Um, yeah, what I was going to say was it kind of just feels like a, a straight barrel ring grip, but I was kind of expecting that to, to be the case. Look, I'm all over the place now. And the last two were actually quite smooth and straight, but Definitely prefer that feel to the tapered part. I mean, the, I've always said that I'm not keen on a taper, so that straight section there just feels just right for me. Um, nice level of grip there, more grippy than I thought it was going to be, and it's kind of how you expect a straight barrel dart to be if you're gripping right at the front. It's not always going to be the best for balance, but it's certainly not too bad. Got a treble from the middle. I was trying to hold it a little bit like Whitlock there, but <laughs> I don't think I was getting it right. Uh, I'm not quite sure how he does it exactly, but I think a little bit of the edge of his thumbs in the scallop, and he's kind of like he doesn't have a massive drawback. I think he's quite short and quite uh, wristy and quite a lot of finger th power, so. I can understand why he likes the scallop for that reason. But I can't get quite the same effect. Well, that one actually went through nice and straight and smooth. But it's a really nice balance around there. So if you're a middle gripper and you don't mind a scallop, it's not the kind of scallop what you sit into it's more like a, a scallop for grip and reference point. Yeah, I think you've got to get just that edge of your thumb right into it. Oh, got a treble. Yeah, I think if you kind of sit your thumb across it, it's not quite the same, but if you just get the edge there, it kind of gives you something to push behind because it kind of goes in like a pinched waist, so I'm assuming that's why he likes it, but who knows. <laughs> well, first and last one went really nice. I'm holding it on the kind of shark, mini shark rings and grooves. I haven't gone right to the end of the barrel. But balance definitely best around the middle. So it's not too bad around this part because you're not too far away from it. But I suspect holding it right at the end won't be as good. But it is kind of like I said, like a straight barrel dart. So it might work whether you're front, middle and rear gripper. Definitely work for middle grippers if you're happy with a, a little scallop. Ah, 
all over there. But again, that rear section got quite a nice bit of grip. And I think the old dart, because of the scallop itself is acting like a grip, it's all over a decent amount of grip, apart from obviously the very nose, which is smooth. So it, like I say, it could be a nice all round it. That Rocky's put me off. <laughs> He's walking up and down the passageway. Rocky! Come here, Rock. Come on. Rocky, come on. How are you? Come on, what are you doing? How are you? I want to... Where are you going? Come here. I want you. He's up and down the passageway with his little nails banging on the lift the floor. You just put me off. <laughs> I don't know what you're up to, Rock, but <laughs> I think you want to go out, don't you? That's probably what it is. Anyway, he's the Rocky. He's come to see you all again. Right, I'm going to come in a minute, Rocky. <laughs> you need your nails cutting. Anyway, that's the Winmore Simon Whitlock World Cup Special Edition, Rocky. What do you think of him? Perfect, he said. He's already had three nine darters with him, so he's a bit blase about it all. Um, yeah, I was quite pleased with the way it feels on the front. And by the way, that wasn't actually my first throw with the darts. I actually threw first with the slow-mo, and then I did my first uh, nine darts, and then I realized I forgot to put the mic on, so <laughs> I had to start it again. But anyway, I got too flustered after that, but I actually did better all through the other throws that I did. Anyway, it's a really nice dart, but I think for middle grippers, it's definitely going to be the best if you like a scallop. Really nice balance there and a nice feel to the grip. But for front and rear grippers, I don't see why it shouldn't be fine for you. Um, but like I said, I'll be giving these away. And what I'm going to be doing is a subscriber draw. So that's going to be for my 33k subscriber giveaway. And I'll probably post that video either Monday or Tuesday next week. So you have to be a subscriber for that. And you'll have to comment on that video. And like I normally do, whoever wins from the random comment picker will get the darts. So I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a closer look at them. I'll see you on the next one. Happy darting.